What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Evanescence album Synthesis and I'm also going to be talking about their live tour that they did this fall for, um, in support of Synthesis. Um, so if you are into Evanescence or you're into orchestral or rock music, stay tuned. I'm going to talk about the live experience before I talk about the album itself because that was the order that I experienced Synthesis in. I'll be talking about the concert first and then I'll get into the album itself and also the Sonic Seducer release for Bring Me to Life. Um, so I went to see Evanescence on October 28th, which is before the release date. They started touring in the middle of October um, and with perfect timing they came to Charlotte uh, on a Saturday. So I got to go see them. I got the tier 2 VIP package, so that's not the meet and greet with the champagne toast. I really wanted that, but um, it was it was actually a pretty good quality VIP package. We got to sit in row 15, which is uh, if anybody has ever been to a like sit down orchestral concert, you know that about about maybe a third of the way back, about row 15, is kind of the best place to sit acoustic wise. You also got to um, have this really nice tour book that's signed on the outside and it has um, like really good quality images on the inside with all the lyrics and it also gave you a list of the uh, songs that they played as well as the ones that the orchestra opened with. Um, which was something that I really, really liked. A lot of times, you know, if you have been to rock concerts before, you know that there is usually an opener before the main act. Um, and there was also in this case, but instead of another band, it was actually the orchestra just playing some, um, you know, some classics like uh, Lacrimosa was one of them. Sally's Song, they actually played Sally's Song. They played Beethoven Moonlight Sonata, like some really well-known pieces. Um, so the audience could just kind of enjoy that before Evanescence came on. Um, so that was a nice touch. I was I was really happy with that. And they did list the pieces that they played in um, in the front as well, so you could look them up, you know. Um, the only other thing that I would have liked to see in the tour program, which I guess these are just generic, they're not, um, you know, customized for each stop on the tour, but I would have liked to know um, who the conductor was because the orchestra was really great and um, I enjoyed them and it would be kind of cool to know who exactly that was but um, that information wasn't available. Um, also as part of the VIP package you got this little Evanescence bag which is super cute and inside of it um, was the VIP laminate um, that you got to wear and the exclusive merch item, um, which in this case you weren't told what it was going to be in advance, but it's actually this set of four coasters with the Evanescence logo on it. So, you know, for those of us who, um, you know, spend a lot of time drinking water or tea or coffee or whatever, this is like actually a really useful merch item. So um, it's not as exciting as like a signed postcard or whatever, but it's actually useful. So I liked that, that was good. Um, the only thing that I wanna say about the VIP package in general is that it was very, very expensive. Tier one, like I balked at the price because it was like $450. And because I was not sure if I was willing to pay that, all 40 of them got snapped up within about 10 minutes. And I probably would have ended up buying one might not have been the best decision of my life, but um, to me it would have been worth it. But the price tag was so big that I ended up kind of talking myself out of it because... So I would say I get it. I get why it's so expensive. Um, you know, when you look at the, the, the scale of the production that they're trying to put on here, I get it. But Maybe it would be nice to put the price of the VIP package on the announcement on the website so that people can think about it and decide whether they want to do that or not. That's really my only gripe about the whole experience because Synthesis Live was really, really good. The performance was excellent. Um, I really think that this is Evanescence performing at their best. Um, 
From some of the videos from earlier in the tour, I was wondering if Amy's voice was going to sound better than usual or not, because it kind of didn't from some of the videos. But by the time she got to Charlotte, she sounded amazing. And I was like, really blown away, actually. I mean, she pulled off some really difficult songs. The only time I heard her voice kind of straining was on that D5 in Your Star, which it's hard not to if you're trying to crescendo it and the E flat 5 in Imperfection, which I, at the end of the set, I can understand that. She really nailed Speak To Me. She really nailed End of the Dream, which is a super hard song. Um, and the whole band sounded really great. I was really impressed. Um, it was a great, it was a really, really intense show. Um, and nice for those of us who kind of don't want to stand up for six hours for a concert. So, um, really, really great. And they're continuing their tour right now, so you should check out evanescence.com for tickets, and they're also going to be in Europe. So, you know, don't miss this. The merch line got extremely long once everybody else came in, so I was glad that we got to go to the merch tables first. Um, I picked up this little journal um, because it's cute, but it's blank. I do a lot of my writing in these, like, little small size journals um, that I can just like easily throw in something and take with me. So I really like this. Um, I also picked up a tank top, um, you know, because it's December and that makes perfect sense, but it's cute. It's kind of slouchy looking and gray with the little synthesis logo. And this little scarf, actually, it looked like a bandana, but it's actually this kind of ephemeral um, silk feeling and it's got the butterflies on it. So it's actually really, this is a really cute scarf. Um, and this is probably my favorite thing that I picked up at the merch table. The other thing that um, I got prior to getting the album itself was the Sonic Seducer magazine. And the reason that I wanted to grab this magazine is because it came not only with the Bring Me to Life synthesis version single, but it also came with it on picture vinyl. As you guys saw in my previous um, Epic of Holographic Principle video where I did a review with the Sonic Seducer magazine, it's a really good, it's really great. Like here's the, the magazine and they have so many bands in here that are actually, like here's a Marilyn Manson article um, that's in here. They have a nice long article in Evanescence. Here's Moonspell. And of course it did come with, um, it also came with the uh, Sonic Seducer Cold Hand Seduction, um, you know, thing. It actually came in its own card sleeve this time. You didn't have to provide your own jewel case. Also two stickers. You got the Evanescence and the Beauty of Gemina. Um, so those were included. And the Bring Me to Life um, little single in its own. Again, unlike with the Epica one, you didn't have to provide your own um, case. But I don't know if you've ever had a picture vinyl before, but I'd never seen a picture vinyl in person before. These thi this thing is really, really nice. The grooves are all the way out here, so you can kind of touch in the middle and hold it. But like, this, the weight of this, this is way heavier than like 180 gram vinyl. It's really, really thick. Um, these are a limited edition. I don't know if they're still available, um, but Really, really nice. Again, from Sonic Seducer, great. The last thing that I got for the Synthesis album uh, is the album itself. And I ordered this actually off of um, Amazon.de, the German Amazon, because they had it um, for a reasonable price. And it was the box set was not available in the US. I don't get this. Um, but I guess it was a Sony thing, and since Sony is doing their European release, I don't know. But anyway. So I got this box set, um, and in the box set, um, there's the CD, and then there's this little book. Um, the CD is really nice. It's in a digipack. Um, I also have, I don't know why I did this, but there was like a, a 99 cent version of this, uh, the Russian misprint where the track listing on the back is wrong, and it was like 99 cents. So I bought it, but I'll throw in a picture of that when I get it. But um, you know, they're in digipacks and they're really nice, um, you know, the artwork is beautiful um, and the little booklet has, um, you know, it doesn't have the lyrics in it, 
but um, it has some of the photos and the photos are really, really great. I love the artwork on this. Um, also in the box set is this little book. And at first when I opened this up, because it was supposed to come with a DVD and there was only one disc in here, I thought, oh no, where's the DVD? They said it was gonna be in here and it's not in there. But it actually is in there. It's in the back of this book. It's like in this card sleeve thing right here. Um, the book has a selection of the full score, which if you've never seen an orchestral score before, um, this is this will make you appreciate just how much um, work went into this. Um, so it's really cool to look at. It's teeny tiny. Um, so I kind of had to blow it up to be able to see the piano part to play, but um, the DVD actually does include the full score um, for all of them, like as PDFs, and you can open them up and look at them, um, which is really, really cool. Um, I think this was a great idea. And the DVD also has a making of synthesis, uh, the instrumental album, which was another great choice because the instrumentals are so beautiful. Sometimes you just want to have that. So I really liked that they included the instrumentals. I was a little bummed they weren't on an audio CD. They packed a lot into this teeny tiny box. Um, and the packaging is beautiful. The artwork is beautiful. So overall, great product. I think it even packs more of a punch in its recorded form than it did live, just because you can really, you can really hear all the parts. It's really, really powerful. Um, and I actually like some of the versions on the CD the Synthesis CD better than I liked them in their original versions. Um, I really, really liked um, The End of the Dream and uh, Secret Door actually has a really cool like jam to it um, on the CD. The Imperfection is a great song and I really, really like it. Um, and I love the in-between piano solo. Really, really phenomenal. Um, but I think I actually like High Low better um, than Imperfection just because of the um, violin work by Lindsay Sterling um, really brought that to life. It's a, she does a beautiful solo on it. Um, you just have to go listen to it. Overall, I would give Synthesis a five out of five. Do I ever review anything that I don't give a five out of five? Format for this, I would say four out of five, just because the instrumental CD was like part of the DVD. But as far as the actual music goes, it's great. I mean, a lot of people have been complaining that they feel ripped off because there are only two new songs on this album and everything. And it's like, well, but they're really great arrangements. They put a lot of effort into this and I think it's great. I think it's a great addition to the Evanescence catalog. I would say this album definitely is one that you should pick up or listen to on Spotify or whatever you do. Um, and if you are an Evanescence fan, the box set is where it's at. That's my review of Synthesis, Synthesis Live, and the Sonic Seducer um, picture vinyl. So cool. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit subscribe because I do music reviews on here. Um, I'm probably going to be doing one for the Nutaria Christmas album coming up soon. Yes, a couple of people have requested in my, the comments that I cover more things from Synthesis. The answer is yes. I'm working on it. Subscribe and stay tuned. And December is that time when I like to make big announcements. You know, so uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. So um, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Rock on.